This will be another short video, this time covering off the combination levers. For this loco they are really simple, and I mean really simple. There aren't even any oil passageways for me to worry about. Again Don calls out gauge plate, and again I'll be working with mild steel. The drawings specify that these be 8 inch thick, but I'll be working with metric material so I'll be going for 3mm. The first job is to drill the three holes, and to do so I've made a simple jig with a bit of scrap clamped into the machine vise. To call it a jig is probably pushing it a bit, it's just a simple arrangement that allows me to clamp two pieces of stock one on top of the other, using the rear jaw of the machine vise as a reference face. I do have a tendency to turn towards machine tools for any operations that require the removal of material and usually that would apply even for these parts. I would normally knock up a quick jig for the milling machine and then use an end mill or a slot drill to cut the profile. But inspired by the amazing work done by Chris over at Dreamsteam, I'm going to take a different approach this time around and cut the profile the good old fashioned way using just a hacksaw and my files. First off I mark out the outline on one piece and I use my little filing buttons for the rounded ends. My filing buttons are made from silver steel which has been hardened and I'm showing here how I hold them against the workpiece. When they're this small I find it easier just to use a little bit of bar to locate them correctly and then use a vise to clamp the buttons and hold them tight against the workpiece. Looking at this video it would appear that my vise is quite worn and maybe I need to go and get a new one. Because I've moved the workpiece so that the buttons are no longer held by the vice jaws, I've fitted this little G-clamp to hold them in position. I would normally turn and thread a small pin so that I can secure the buttons with a nut, but it's not so easy at these small diameters. And here's the result of an interesting little exercise in basic metalworking practices. Thanks for watching.